Did Samsung spill the beans about the next note? I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. When Samsung announced details on the Galaxy S4 smartphone, the company also unveiled some new accessories, like the Game Pad. It's a video game control pad that attaches to the Galaxy S4 and other smartphones. It uses a Bluetooth connection, but here's what's interesting. If you go to the Samsung website to find out more about this controller, it says the Game Pad will work with phones that have screens with 4 inches to as big as 6.3 inches, but Samsung doesn't have a phone yet with a 6.3 inch screen. The biggest phone now is the Note 2. That's a 5.5 inch screen, so this could mean Samsung's planning the Note 3 to be even larger. Does the world need a 6.3 inch phablet? And more importantly, will pockets be able to handle a phone that big? There's a revolution brewing in the cable television industry. Verizon Fios is hoping to convince media companies that it should only pay fees for a channel if their subscribers actually watch that channel for more than five minutes. Right now, they pay a fee for every single subscriber. This report comes from the Wall Street Journal, but it's not just Verizon that wants the system to change. Cablevision recently sued Viacom because it didn't think it was fair to be forced to pay for less popular Viacom channels in an all or nothing bundle. If these television providers get their way, don't expect your TV bill to be any cheaper. But maybe it could stabilize cable costs or companies might be able to afford to offer you a few more perks. Google Reader is shutting down in a few months, and although it's bad news for fans of the RSS service, it's good news for the app Feedly. Since the announcement of Google Reader's demise, Feedly has added 500,000 new users, mostly they're people trying to find a replacement for Google Reader. Pinterest refreshed its design and added new ways to stumble on posts. You can see the new design by going to your account icon and selecting switch to the new look. Google seems to be working on a note-taking app called Google Keep. A desktop version went live for a few moments. The blog Android Police grabbed a few screenshots before it was yanked offline. Hashtags are now invading more social networks. Yahoo's Flickr iOS app just added hashtags. Well, Flickr had called them tags before, but it's been renamed to hashtags since that term is gaining popularity. And using the hashtag Flickr Friday lets you participate in that weekly photo challenge. We might soon see hashtags on Facebook as well. At least, that's the latest rumor. That's your tech news update. We got more details on the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.